for the intellectual excellence, just the opportunities I've had in my classes. I've helped my professor with her cancer research, and it's, so, it's been so valuable for me to be able to work with the professors that closely and get to know them and not just be one of 500 in a room. To me, intellectual excellence is trying to be the best that you can be in a scholarly setting. Actually doing all the work for your classes, showing up to class, participating. It's just putting that effort in because you want to do good. For me, school is very, very important, and especially because I know where I want myself to be in four years or eight years or 10 years. I have that kind of idea of, this is what I need to do now to get me there. And if I don't do that, then I know I'm not going to accomplish my goals. And I think it helps motivate me because I do know where I want to end up. The notion of kind of valuing kind of academic excellence is, is something that you would expect to see almost anywhere, uh, but the way that Elmhurst kind of weaves that into the other values, I think what makes it unique. For me, intellectual excellence is like when you've taken learning outside of the classroom. Like being academically well-rounded is your experience in different areas that is you encounter. It helps you think about other people's perspectives. But it also allows them to respect other people's positions when they just when they disagree with them. So they can understand that there may be a good argument that they disagree with, and they can agree to disagree in kind of a responsible way via this sort of process of intellectual excellence. We value intellectual excellence.